Hi guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com and this is episode 97 of Photo Critiques. And in Photo Critiques, people send me in some of their best images and I critique each shot with suggestions on how they can improve it. And today I'm pleased to critique the work of Gregor Innes. Gregor sent me in some shots of in and around Scotland and he used a Nikon D5200 and the kit lens. And you'll see, you can take some really nice shots with the kit lens. And this first shot, um, very well done. Beautiful sky, uh, nicely exposed. Um, what you'll find when you're shooting these valleys like this, you sometimes get a lot of shadows. It depends where the sun is, and you'll get these really harsh shadows on one side or the other of the valley. You typically like to shoot it with the sun more behind you, if possible, or setting right in the valley if that ever happens. That would be a great shot, too. But you did a nice job here of balancing the exposure. We do have some shadows here from the clouds uh, coming in. Um, in this side's a little dark, too, but you did a nice job of balancing it. One little trick landscape photographers do when the, you have a lot of cloud cover like this is we take a lot of shots. We'd sit here for two hours and take shot after shot after shot as the clouds move. What you'll do then is you would use take three or four or five, ten of them, how many it takes, and you would bring them over into Photoshop and you'd have some that would have shadows over here but not over here because the clouds moved or shadows you know here but not there and what you would do is you would use layer masks and you would mask out the the parts where the shade is so you would get a shot with no or minimal shadows on the hillsides so that's a little trick we landscape photographers will do to help eliminate these shadows um, the other thing in this specific composition, we have this road over here and we have this bush right here, kind of a, a tree sapling. Um, I don't know how high of a cliff is, but if you could have got a little closer and put your camera right off to the edge and try to eliminate this, it would have eliminated this too, and you still would have had the same flavor of the shot. You still would have had the idea that you're going for the leading line of the valley leading you through the shot. But um, it's a very nice composition still and a um, very nice job. Um, still, if you could revisit this site and get it with the sun more behind you, and um, then the shadows of the clouds would have wouldn't have been as straight down onto the sides either. Um, you'll see what it's hard to explain, but when you if you could get a shot like that where the the sun's a little lower in the sky and behind you, it helps eliminate all these shadows. But it's a very strong image. It is uh, too I, to beat the you know beat it a little bit here. You could bring up shadows a little bit too and it will give you more detail in in this dark area here so there's before there's after that's something to consider too it's a very nice shot um, really like it uh, very long exposure it um, makes the water look very you know uh, soft and smooth and placid um, the sky the blur because it's a long exposure of the clouds it's a really nice shot you know, I just like it not much to critique here I like it the way it is this too, it's kind of a leading line of light, you know, coming through. So it's kind of a cool shot in that regard. So it's something, I think it's kind of a mundane scene. And, and um, Gregor did a really nice job of making it interesting the way he composed it and exposed it. So it's a really nice shot. This is another one, very long exposure, um, very nicely done. We have this framing of this tree overhanging here. We have the uh, blurred water. Um, sky isn't interesting but Gregor did a nice job of minimizing that so stuff that's not interesting you want to minimize in your shot if you can't eliminate it completely at least minimize it and Gregor did a nice job by making the foreground more compelling so we're looking down here and not up here and of course our, it leads our eye to the waterfall back here so it's a very nice shot um, tiny bit dark tiny bit um, again again if it might be your style though so but if you want to open up um, the shadows a bit to offer more detail in this dark areas here, you could do that in case I'm bringing shadows way up. And you get a lot more detail in these stones and these rocks here. So there's before and there's after. So that's just, of course, something to consider. This is a, really a beautiful shot. Um, again, kind of a partial silhouette. We have this beautiful mountains back here, the water here. Beautiful colors, very nicely done. Um, really, I like it the way it is. I wouldn't consider opening up the shadows on this one. I like it the way it is. It kind of makes everything subdued, kind of like a. To me, it it 
it looks morning to me it might be uh you know obviously it could be sunset but it kind of evokes that look of like you know sunrise and it's, it's a pretty cool shot in this shot here it's a nice landscape very well done um, nice exposure the sky is beautiful very nice uh, colors in the sky this uh, smoke stream here kind of is interesting kind of leads our eye to that to see what that's all about but it's a very nice shot the only little thing that bothers me is this tree right here it's kind of just jutting up there kind of spoiling it so I'm not sure if you could work this scene to minimize this tree more to get to one or the other sides looks like you have a tree over here too for all I know you might have had tree right here too so you did the best you could to expose this scene and minimize any distracting elements but very nicely done Gregor and that's it I think yep that's it so there it goes with a, a kit lens um, in a Nikon D5200 which is an, a super expensive camera you can see you could take some great great shots um, with that type of gear and I encourage everyone to get out there and shoot because that's the only way you're going to learn and Gregor did a really nice job and thank you Gregor for sharing your images with us the only thing I could suggest on yours is maybe open up the shadows a little bit to offer a little more detail in the shadows in some of your shots I think that would improve them work the scene slightly to try to eliminate some of those things in the foreground that I talked about that one bush and that um, I think it was in the first picture and this here in this picture so uh, thank you, Gregor. I'd like to thank everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Go over to my website if you have time, anthonymorganti.com, and check out all the articles and videos I have over there. And if you can, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to my videos on YouTube. That's it for now. I'll talk to you guys soon.